Okay, guys, welcome back to the garage. I'm gonna do a couple shout outs real quick. First one, Randall Ray on Instagram gave me a shout out on his Instagram uh, for my Instagram and my YouTube. So let's give him a shout back. He's down in Naples, Florida, uh, cleaning up after that uh, horrible hurricane down there. And, uh, who knows what other tropical storms are going to get hit with. But he's down there. His family owns some kind of uh, excavating company. Um, so they're doing a lot of cleanup. They're doing their part in their community. So I'm going to give him a shout out. And uh, thanks a lot, Randall. I really appreciate uh, I really appreciate you, buddy. So next guy I'm going to give a shout out to is Ivan Eiler. Um, he also is on Instagram, no YouTube. Uh, neither does Randall. Doesn't have YouTube, but he's got an Instagram page, and he owns Hammer and Hand Cycle Shop in St. Johns, Michigan. And uh, you can visit them on their website, hammerandhand.com, and also his Instagram page. Guy is very talented. Uh, not only do, does he redo uh, and do fab work for motorcycles, he also is a metal fab artist. He's currently working on a piece for Lansing, um, but I'm not, go to his Instagram. I think that sculpture is due this week. It's supposed to be done. But, and he also does leather work too. Uh, so, want to give him a shout out. Hardworking guy, very talented. Give him, give him a look on his Instagram page and follow him. Give him some likes and some shout outs. All right? So, let's go out into the garage. Okay, YouTube, we're outside of the garage. That's the cabinet. The cabinet's just about finished. Put this piece in, and the reason why it's skinny is because this got racked. It, was, it wasn't square, so I, put the out, I worked my way from the outsides in, and that's what I had left on the inside. Got some scrap hinges for it and a hasp for the outside to lock it up. Over here, we've got the door. It's glued, screwed, and clamped. And uh, even, even brad nailed, too. So we're going to let that dry for a few hours. Then, I'm pretty sure I showed this in another video, but I had some odds and ends coat racks that I had in the garage. I had on here. I ordered some on Amazon. I'm probably going to get some more of these too. But we're just going to sand this and urethane it and that'll be done. This is one, one color of stain. We're going to have a second co color of stain and a third. It's going to have a small shelf here, another one here, maybe a couple of cup hooks for keys. And then we'll do some coat right, right here on that one. These, I'm gonna make some. Uh, I'm gonna make some wall-mounted bottle openers, and uh, the wife thought that I could use these instead of mason jars, but there's no lip on the top. They're held on the board with big hose clamps, and there's no lip. You know what I mean? There's no lip. So I was thinking wall sconces, put some more candles in them. That's what I was thinking on those. I got a bunch of wood to use for this stuff here. I got a couple other designs that I want to try out. But stick with the, the rustic look. And I'll put you up here. Let's put you up here. So that's what's going on out there. Uh, we're gonna, I did some ripping and uh, planing on some boards. daughter Erica called me up and said come get this stuff so I went and got this stuff it's got two different colors of paint one on each side um, up top there I cut the ends and ripped it to usable lengths like this and then today I went and ran a couple of them through the planer I was gonna I was gonna clean them all up nice and neat but then I ran this side through and I thought that with leaving that paint on there, that was a good look. So, 
I left that just like it was, and then I ran this one. And uh, it was hitting mainly one side because I think this is twisted a little bit. So it got a little bit of rot and a little bit of paint on one side. On the other side, got some rot right here. But it's not all the way through along the edges. So I'm going to. I'm going to leave it just like that. Do something with that. So we did that today. And then over here, I got all this short stuff. This right here, another customer gave me. And it's redwood. So I think I'm going to do something special with this. This is all my other short stuff. And I can make coat racks and bottle openers, sconces, light fixtures, all kinds of rustic stuff. Maybe some end tables, coffee tables, who knows. But that right there is the next big project. That right there is barnwood. And we're going to do a double trash can cabinet bin for a kitchen. The, uh, instead of the, drawer, the doors swinging open, they're going to pull down. Pull down. Yeah, down. So we're going to run it through the joiner, the planer. He doesn't want the paint look. He wants that old rustic look. So the, the back side. That's the back side. I think we're going to. Well, we'll see how it looks, but I think that's what we're going to have out. I think that's what we're going to have out. He doesn't want the red look. And if we do use this side, most of the red's going to be gone. We'll get it planed down. We'll chop the ends off, joint one side, run through the planter, and start doing some glue ups. That's the next pro That's the next big project. And, uh, okay, so we got the cabinet. We've got the coat racks. Told you about. This wood, told you about the sconces and the wall on the bottle opener. We did the shout out to Randall and, and Ivan. I think that's about it. It's a short video. We did some cleanup. We'll do some more cleanup. You know, it's, like I said, you know, we pull everything out to clean it up just to put it back in and make it messy again. But that's, that's a small shop, so. All right, that, that's it. Um, once I got the, everything sanded on the cabinet and uh, the door put on it, I'll let you see what it looks like. Maybe, maybe even on Instagram too. Give, give me a look on Instagram. And um, yeah, that's it. That's it for right now, guys. So, just a little follow up. Maybe we'll do a little bit better job on the video on this one right here. Um, I kind of like doing it this way, you know. I mean, yeah. So we'll see on the next video. So if you like this, subscribe. Hit the like button. Leave comments. Leave as many comments as you want. Share. So we'll see you in the next video. Be blessed. We'll talk to you later. Alright guys, I might just throw this in with the other video. Um, I thought I was going to put it in last night, but I didn't. I ended up putting in another video with my buddy. So, we got the cabinet done. And as you can see, I'm doing the coat racks. Putting the old urethane on this one right here, the second coat. Just finish this one up. And uh, having a pretty eventful day. So, you don't need to see me doing that, so I'm going to show you the cabinet and then take you in the garage and let you know what went on today. So, you got that monster done. Uh, for just a rustic, unfinished cabinet. 
I think it came out pretty good. Nothing too fancy. Just wanted a rustic cap cabinet for cleaning supplies. Um, I, I like it. Came out pretty good. So we got that finished. And uh, we got the two coat rack things, and I got gears going in my mind. And uh, today. Logan and I went out to uh, my cousin's and we uh, cleared some fallen logs off the trails so we could get back to hunting blinds and tree stand. It's getting close and I'm getting the itch. So, uh, stopped by and seen Ivan. Uh, it's crunch time. The sculpture is supposed to be in Lansing tomorrow. Um, it's looking good. It's looking good. I mean, it's possible he could get it done uh, by tomorrow. Um, it's crunch time. I told him if he needed a hand, give me a call. Um, so we stopped by and seen him. Went and got Logan a haircut. And uh, went and got some Big Johns. Dropped some off to the wife. Came back here and started working. So we got that done. We got the coat. Well, the coat racks aren't done. I got to put poly on them and then put the coat. Actually, put the coat hooks on them. But and then we start. We we still got all the sanding to do on all this for the next project. Uh, wood looks really good. Really good. So. Um, that, oh. Stone and Sons sent me a sticker. Yeah, Stone and Sons. He said he was going to send me one. I forgot all about it. Looky there. So that's going to go up on the wall right about there. Right about there. So, all right, guys. I already said this in the video, but if you like it, subscribe, share like thanks a lot be blessed and i'll see you on the next video